Hey everybody, welcome back to Jordan Tremaine Book Reviews. Thank you for pressing play. And today I got a book that I thought was decently interesting, even though the guy on the audiobook was a little bit of a snooze fest with his voice. Um, I thought the content was interesting, so we're going to dive into it. The book we're talking about today is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Oh, let me make this more professional. Oh, yeah, like that. Boom. So, normally I put pictures of the audiobooks I read on my iPad because I don't have the physical book with me. I didn't buy it. But, um... This book I thought was interesting. It is something that took me a while to listen to. Um, I'm not sure why. I have this idea that it's a little old timey, like it was written a while ago. So the way the dude's talking is like one of those informational black and white movies from a long time ago. So maybe it's just been boring to me or something like that way. Content wise, I think if I would have read it with my eyes, um, it would have flowed a little better. But um, I'm going to focus on the information in this book. And yeah. So How to Win Friends and Influence People gives a lot of like anecdotal case studies of ideas for why approaching people with certain attitudes or trying to use certain strategies with people don't typically work. Um, and then it tries to explain some of the psychology and some of the reasoning as to why it doesn't work and maybe something that you can do that's better. I guess this guy, Dale Carnegie, used to like run a class where he would teach people in person how to do this. And then he got all these like um, success stories of people who turned their lives around, who became way more friendly, got a bunch of friends and all this kind of stuff. So um, that class became so popular, he wrote this book. And then this book became like really super duper popular. It's one of the like... I don't know, classic self-help books. I think it came out before we started calling these books self-help books, but um, yeah. One of the reasons I like this book is, like a lot of the other people that write books, uh, Dale really worked on something. He got good at it, and then he came back and took the time to write it down, edit it, publish it, and share it with the world. Um, whether or not you agree with the ideas, I think that is a very thoughtful thing to do, so I appreciate that. Um, but onto the content of how to win friends and influence people, I think just being exposed to certain ideas really does a lot to help people grow and learn. Not necessarily forcing them to accept something or forcing them to do something, but just making them aware and have a good understanding. So a good explanation that makes them aware, not aware like I know that it exists, but I don't really understand it. Like aware, like I understand, I know what it is. I may not be doing it, but I know. And I think Dale Carnegie does a good job of giving a general explanation that most people can understand and making people aware of different scenarios and situations where they might be contributing to their own frustration. Um, one of the things that I think he hammers in a lot in different ways is that for almost all intents and purposes, people are like you. You think you're special. You think you have goals and dreams and aspirations and you want to do stuff. And everybody is like that, which means everybody is self-interested. They want to accomplish their goals. They want to protect their own families. They have their own life. They are the main character in their own story. And if you don't account for that, they might not like you. Not to say that you need to bow down to them, but acknowledge that they're not just some side character in your story. You're a side character in their story. So when you acknowledge that and say like, hey, I bet you have your own goals, what are your goals? Or um, maybe you have your own opinions. Maybe you don't want me to just come and try and get things from you all the time. Maybe you want a relationship. Maybe you want to build trust before um, you deal with me. Thinking in these ways like, hey, maybe there's a another person on the other side of this conversation that actually has feelings that I need to take into account. Um, this idea, which 
is strangely hard for a lot of people to come to, that other people are the main character in their own story and you should respect that. Um, I think he does a really good job of explaining different examples of it and showing ways that you can show other people that you would respect them, to show other people that you acknowledge that they have their own importance, that their goals are important. Um, and by doing that, it helps open up the gates of, of friendship, build rapport, build bridges, and let people know that you're not just out here to take things for yourself. You're trying to work with them in order to build bigger, better, greater things. Um, so Carnegie goes into a lot of different ideas and specific stories he tells. A lot of the anecdotes are just like stories that explain the concept he's trying to uh, put out in each different chapter and whatever. And it really helps hit home like what he's talking about. Even though this book was written a little while ago, um, they're human examples. So you should be able to relate to them even though this book was not written yesterday. Um, so I don't think there'll be really any difficulty with that. I think maybe the only difficulty is that the ideas in this book challenge what you think is normal, or they may imply that your current strategies are not the best. Hmm. Excuse me. And that can be tough. Um, acknowledging that we have space to grow is not always the funnest thing. And there's this like quote on the interwebs or on Instagram or something like that. Uh, let me see how it goes. Um, like accountability can feel like an attack when you're not ready to take responsibility for your actions or something like that. And so this book can help make you aware of some of the stuff you should be accountable for. And that might not be the most comfortable, but I think it does it in a safe way where you're at home by yourself, you don't have to do it in front of a bunch of people, and you don't have to listen because it's a book. Um, Dale Carnegie is not in your room trying to yell at you. So I think this book is worth a read. To me, it was a little dry. It wasn't the funnest page turner, suspenseful book, but I don't think it was meant to be. Um, but I do think this book can be very helpful to people who are having trouble having friends and influencing people. I think that this book is really pointed at how to start thinking in a way where you focus on the things that you have control over. You don't focus on things going wrong because of something you had no control over, or you don't pretend that you're a victim when you really do have control. This book, I think, is about taking account of things that you can influence and then influencing those things. To which I think is very practical and it's very useful, even if the content of the book while you're learning it isn't the most entertaining. The book isn't that long. The audiobook was easy to listen to. It was just a little boring, um, but I do recommend this book. I think reading books helps you understand other people because other people wrote the books and because it gets you out of your head. You have to try to understand what somebody else wrote. You have to sit down and shut up and read or listen and it's this kind of meditative practice of understanding other people's ideas and not just running your own ideas in your head so i think the more books you read um the more general well-rounded ideas you can have and i think it's important i think this is a book that should be one of the general books that you read in your lifetime so yeah the book is how to win friends and influence people by dale carnegie and I think I, I would recommend it.